Hey guys, so as you'll see, I've got my uh, my four motors now all set up with the wiring. Uh, I'm not adding them into the motor shield just yet because I need to do some soldering on the motor shield as well to get it going. Uh, now, uh, again, we explained before, so these are where our motors are going to tie into, here and here. Uh, our servos, uh, we'll talk about those later, they're going to tie in here. So we need a place to put our sensors, and that's going to be this section here. Now, I'm not entirely sure why, but for some reason they have not included pins on this section. So we could either put our sensors directly onto there, um, but it's perhaps easier just to attach some pins now, and then we can deal with it later. So either you're solder soldering your sensors directly in, or you're attaching pins. I like the pins idea as it allows me to attach and disattach or unattach things, um, upgrade things perhaps at a later date, whereas soldering is a bit more like a permanent solution. Maybe not permanent, but close enough to permanent. So you'll see that each row here has space for six pins, I believe. Yeah, so it's going to be something like that. And then all we have to do is basically break off the six pins from our little section here. So if I go along here and I go one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's six pins. And then I can hopefully just click that there. And it's going to, da, 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 it's going to come off as six pins. Okay, so that's going to be my six pins in there. I can put it in. Oh no, is it five pins? Sorry, maybe I've counted wrong. Uh, one, two, three. Oh no, I've, I've, I've put an extra pin from my things. So I'm just going to cut one off the end there. Oops, and I've just cut two off. So let's try that again. Okay, let's try for six pins. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. So. If I do that there this time, I think I've still got an extra one there. Okay, but I'm going to cut that one off. Cut off my extra one. There we go. Okay. And you want to keep those, even if, even if we don't use them now, we might use them later. Okay, and then I'm going to put that row along there. Now that row, I think, is my... That's my analog data. So that's how I pass out data to my sensor, how I read in data to my sensors. I'm going to do the same for the other sections now. In theory, if we were only using a set number, we only have to include that number of pins, which is how I did it previously when I last did this. I didn't waste pins, basically. Um, but you can do the entirety. Um, and in this case, I'm just going to do the whole thing. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I'm going to try again. And this time, fingers crossed, it's not going to do the extra one. Oh my god, I did the extra one. Okay, so I seem to be very bad at this, but there we go. Okay, and then I'm going to put those ones in there. Do, 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 ah. Okay, a little bit fishery. And same with the other ones. Now, again, it might be easier if I'm using my uh, my tweezer at this point to attach things in so you can see it a bit better. There we go. That's probably a better way to do it. To use my tweezers. Now, they're, they're probably going to fall out in a second anyway, but uh, just so you can see how we're trying to set it up. Now again, same thing, one, two, three, four, five, six. This time it's going to work, this time it's going to work, this time it's going to work. Fingers crossed. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, yeah, I actually got it right this time. There we go. Okay, and then again, maybe easier if I use my tweezers to put those into that section there. Okay, so this way I have a whole bunch of pins that I can then use to um, attach different uh, devices to my motor shield or and therefore to my Arduino. Now we're gonna have to turn this over so that I can um, so that I can attach these in and I'm pretty sure they're gonna fall out at that point. Uh, so we might just want to do one row at a time so let's start by doing that row there. Now if we turn it over doo -doo -doo. Now the trick here is to have something that is holding the pins in underneath and you're still having them popping through here. The danger is that you don't have them in far enough. So you've got to make sure that they're even and that they're all in. Now I think I've managed to get it that time somehow. Um, and then I'm going to try and solder stuff onto it. And again when I'm starting my soldering I want to start by putting 
a bit of my flux on it if you've not got the, the nice uh, stuff even in it might help so I want to put some flux all the way across those pins just so that it melts on nicely and that one's not going in very well so I think that side one I want to be pushing up just a little bit more there we go okay so we've got some flux across those pins and again don't worry about having too much it's good if we can clean it off with some acetone or something later um, which I'll try to get but I don't actually have some here at the moment okay and just hopefully they're all evenly in now if I look underneath I can see that's not quite right but okay that should be it now fingers crossed okay then I'm going to heat up that section and try and use my solder wire to attach it to the board and again it's good to look underneath and just try and make sure it is as fully in the way as you can um, it's possible to adjust it later but it's not necessarily as easy as you think so I would start by doing one pin on the side and again you're heating up the pin and the bit going through rather than heating up the solder wire itself okay that's that's good going against the hot stuff okay there we go okay that's quite nice okay now when I've done that I just want to push underneath and make sure that it's going all the way in there we go it's quite nice and then maybe I want to do the same but on the far side uh, I'm not sure how easy this goes with the camera give me one second Oops, and then the other bits in the way, that's not good. Okay, so I'm going to try and do the pin on the other side, uh, just to make sure everything is in the right place before I uh, do the, the sort of middle bits, and that's going to lock it in together, okay? So, and then just want to again heat up the pin, and the little circly bit, and then once I've got that, I can add in my solder. I don't want to melt the solder onto the solder iron. I want to melt the solder onto the pin and the board. Okay, we were getting something there that's good. Okay, that's something. It's looking pretty decent. It's not a huge amount. It's not, too <coughs> not too much or anything. But what I do want to do is just heat it up and then just push it in from the other side as well to make sure that it's all going in now I'm going to check the underside of my board and I just want to make sure and you can't see it very well I'm afraid um, but I just want to make sure that there's no spaces between the black parts um, and my uh, board itself so oh, there you can see it there a little bit but they're all going in there's no bits of metal sticking out underneath all right Okay, so I was just attacked by a cockroach. Okay, so <laughs> here we go. Right. Uh, oh dear, I don't like cockroaches. Part of the joy of living here. Uh, okay, so I'm going to then flip it over again. And I want to finish off what I started and just get the rest of the pins all attached um, for that same row. So let's repeat. And where's my wire? Here we go. Oops. Okay, hopefully no cockroaches will attach me, attack me at this point in time. So, here we go. So I'm going to heat up the other ones, again, just to get them going a little bit. And then I can start melting some solder onto them, I hope, just to properly get them attached. Oops, am I... When I was a bit enthusiastic there, I've turned I accidentally turned off my uh, soldering iron, which was a bit silly. Uh -oh. uh, I have a power adapter. It doesn't quite match the socket. It's a bit of a pain because UK plugs to other plugs. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> this is not going well. Okay, but hopefully you can see that all I have to do to finish off that section 
is just to solder those last bits on. And then I'll repeat the process with uh, the next row and the next row and the next row once I get my, or if I get my soldering iron working again. All right, so we just need to finish off soldering that so that they're all going to be attached uh, to the board um, like so there. Okay, uh, give it a try yourself and I'll show you hopefully my results with all my pins attached afterwards. And again, my suggestion is you do the left and right sides first and then work on the middle afterwards. Okay.